Step back in time to the gaslit streets of Victorian London, a city of stark contrast. As the 19th century drew to a close, this sprawling metropolis was a hub of innovation and industry, yet it was also plagued by social inequality and poverty. Tucked away in the heart of London was the infamous East End, a neighbourhood characterised by its overcrowded slums and dark alleyways. It was in these very streets that a series of brutal and shocking murders would occur, forever changing the course of criminal history. Imagine the hustle and bustle of a vibrant street market, where merchants peddle their wares and street urchins roam for scraps. But against this facade of everyday life, a sense of unease and fear would grip the community. In the autumn of 1888, the streets of Whitechapel would become the epicenter of a series of gruesome murders that sent shockwaves throughout the city and beyond. Newspaper headlines would scream in bold letters, capturing the terror and fascination that surrounded these heinous crimes. In the eerie glow of gas lamps, the dark deeds of a mysterious figure known as Jack the Ripper would unfold. The victims, all vulnerable women of the night, were found brutally mutilated and left in horrifying states. These murders would lay bare the stark contrast between the opulence of the Victorian society and the desperation of the East End's impoverished residents. As the city elite went about their lives, the working class and destitute faced unimaginable hardships. Who was Jack the Ripper? A question that has echoed through time. Shrouded in mystery and speculation, was he a deranged lunatic? A skilled surgeon? Or perhaps even a member of aristocracy? The enigmatic silhouette of the Ripper continues to haunt our collective imagination. Join us on a journey to uncover the secrets of Jack the Ripper's reign of terror. Through historical records, expert analysis and ever new technologies, we'll delve into the heart of the case that remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in criminal history. As we delve deeper into the chilling story of Jack the Ripper, we're confronted with the grim reality of the Whitechapel murders. The dimly lit gas lamps cast an eerie glow over the cobble streets where innocent lives were brutally cut short. Let's remember the victims. They were more than just names. They were mothers, sisters and daughters. Their lives were tragically extinguished in the most gruesome manner, leaving behind a legacy of horror. The East End became a hunting ground for the Ripper, with each crime scene marked with horror and devastation. The map of Whitechapel bears witness to the locations where these tragic events unfolded. In the wake of the murders, the belongings of the victims told their own story. Humble possessions that once bore significance to their lives were now just poignant reminders of the lives that were cruelly taken. What set the Whitechapel murders apart was the gruesome signature that was left by the killer. The pattern of mutilation was a macabre ritual, a calling card that struck terror into the hearts of all Londoners. Fear gripped the community as the news of the murders spread like wildfire. Panic swept through the East End, and the once bustling streets became haunted by the spectre of the Ripper. The press seized upon the gruesome details of the murders with sensational illustrations and headlines that both horrified and fascinated the public. The police faced unprecedented challenges in their pursuit of the Ripper. Limited forensic tools and an unfamiliar landscape made the investigation a daunting task. Frustration and desperation were their constant companion. Meet Mary Ann Nichols, the first victim of the Ripper's spree. A struggling mother, she found herself in the dark alleyways of Whitechapel, facing unimaginable danger. Annie Chapman, a woman once married to a soldier, was left destitute and turned to the streets to survive. Her tragic fate serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerability of those living in the fringes. Elizabeth Stride, also known as Long Liz, was a Swedish immigrant who sought a better life in London. Her brutal death shattered her dreams and left a void in our community. Catherine Eddowes, a mother of three, struggled with alcoholism and poverty. Her murder exposed the harsh reality faced by many women of the time. Mary Jane Kelly, the final canonical victim, was perhaps the most brutally murdered. Her tragic story serves as a devastating climax to the Ripper's reign of terror. These women lived in a world of hardship and desperation. The vibrant streets of Whitechapel were their stage. Their lives were a testament to the resilience of those living on the margin. The Ripper's brutality interrupted their lives, leaving behind a trail of grief and questions. The dimly lit streets that they once walked became synonymous with their tragic fate. In the aftermath of their death, the community came together to honour their memory. Candlelit vigils illuminated the darkness, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the horror. In the wake of the gruesome murders, the Victorian police faced an immense challenge. Let's explore the intricacies of the investigation into the enigmatic figure 
known as Jack the Ripper. Meet the investigators, who dedicated themselves to solving the Ripper mystery. These detectives, armed with limited resources and outdated methods, tirelessly pursued leads in search of the elusive killer. Inside the precinct, evidence was scrutinised and connections were sought. Limited forensic tools and the lack of modern investigative techniques made their task all the more daunting. Police presence on the streets of Whitechapel increased as officers patrolled in hopes of preventing further attacks. However, the Ripper's cunning and stealth proved to be formidable adversaries. Witnesses, often fearful of retribution, came forward with testimonies. Piecing together the accounts was like solving a complex puzzle with missing pieces, making it difficult to establish a clear narrative. As weeks turned into months, frustration mounted within the police force. The relentless pressure from the public and the media intensified the need for a breakthrough. The investigation was marred by a surge of rumours and misinformation. Newspapers and armchair detectives proposed various theories, further complicating the efforts to identify the killer. False leads diverted the investigation, wasting precious time and resources. The case was a labyrinth of contradictions and dead ends, leaving detectives struggling to find a way forward. The Ripper added a chilling layer to the investigation by sending taunting letters to the press and the police. These cryptic messages fueled the mystery and added psychological dimension to the case. Meet the letters that sent shivers down the spines of Victorian London. These handwritten messages were sent to the newspapers and the police, each one dripping with menace and cryptic messages. The letters taunted the authorities, often claiming responsibility for the murders and predicting future acts of violence. Each letter further fueled public hysteria and put additional pressure on the police. The letters sparked a media sensation. Newspapers eagerly published the letters, creating an atmosphere of fear and fascination that gripped the entire city. The authenticity of these letters have been subject for debate for over a century. Experts have analysed the handwriting, language and content to determine whether these letters were genuinely penned by the Ripper or the work of an opportunistic copycat. Psychologists and profilers have delved into the letters, attempting to create a profile of the sender. The letters provide a glimpse into the mind of a disturbed individual, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the case. The public couldn't get enough of the letters, People discussed, speculated and analysed their contents, contributing to the Ripper's infamy and solidifying his place in history. The letters left a lasting legacy of fear in Victorian London. The threat of the Ripper, whether real or imagined, cast a shadow over the city, leaving an indelible mark on its collective memory. The letters left a profound impact on the investigation. Detectives were forced to sift through genuine leads and false trails, further complicating their efforts to identify the true identity of the Ripper. As the investigation into the gruesome Jack the Ripper murders continued, a list of potential suspects emerged, each with their own peculiarities and motives. Detectives tirelessly combed through the evidence, trying to connect the dots that would lead them to the elusive killer. Montague John Druitt, a barrister by profession, caught the attention of the investigators due to his erratic behaviour and suicide shortly after the last murder. Some believe his depression and dismissal from work could have driven him to commit the heinous acts. Aaron Kosminski, a Polish immigrant and a resident of Whitechapel. Aaron Kosminski was placed under suspicion due to his erratic behaviour and obsession with women. Francis Tumblety, an eccentric American quack doctor, Tumblety's interest in anatomy and alleged misogyny raised suspicions. He was known to collect uteruses and fled London shortly after the murders, making him a person of interest in the eyes of the investigators. Walter Sickett, painter with a penchant for the macabre. Walter Sickett's close proximity to the crime scenes and his fascination with the Ripper case brought him into the spotlight. Some even believed his artwork contained hidden clues to the murders. Michael Ostrog, a Russian conman and career criminal. Ostrog was known for his violent tendencies and history of mental illness. His movements aligned with the timeline of the murders, sparking suspicions that he could be the notorious killer. George Chapman, a poisoner and wife murderer, was considered due to his criminal background and proximity to the Whitechapel area during the Ripper murders. His violent past made him a possible suspect in the eyes of the investigators. James Kelly, an insane artist with a history of violence against women. Kelly's escape from a mental institution and subsequent disappearance fueled theories that he could have been the Ripper. His violent tendencies and knowledge of anatomy 
made him a compelling suspect. Joseph Barnett Mary Kelly's former lover, Joseph Barnett, came under scrutiny due to his proximity to the victims and his potential motives of jealousy and revenge. Although lacking substantial evidence, his association with the final victim raised eyebrows. Thomas Cutbush A mentally unstable man with a fascination for knives and violence. Cutbush had a history of attacking women in a manner similar to the Ripper's. Despite countless hours of investigation, the true identity of Jack the Ripper remains an enigma to this day. The suspects discussed in this chapter only represent a fraction of those considered by the police at that time. As the years pass and the case continues to captivate the public's imagination, with new theories and suspects emerging even in the modern era, the identity of Jack the Ripper remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of criminal history. As we conclude this captivating journey through the mysteries of Jack the Ripper, let us pause and reflect on the enigma that has held us in its thrall. The shadows of history have unveiled both truths and questions that continue to linger in the corner of our minds. We have ventured through fog-shrouded alleys, examined suspects and theories, from sensationalized headlines to the brushstrokes of artists, from the whispers of conspiracy to the earnest efforts of ripperologists, the legacy of Jack the Ripper remains as haunting as ever. Though we may never definitely unmask the face behind the crimes, our journey has illuminated the complexities of Victorian society, the power of storytelling and the enduring fascination with the unknown. The echoes of history remind us that some secrets are destined to remain enigmatic, yet they also beckon us to dig deeper, to question assumptions and uncover hidden truths. As we bid farewell to these investigations, let us carry with us the lessons that we have learned from the past, the importance of empathy, the value of speaking the truth, and the recognition that history is often a tapestry woven both in darkness and in light. The tale of Jack the Ripper endures as a testament to the complexities of human nature and the power of storytelling to shape our perceptions. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. As we step back into the present, may we continue to explore the mysteries and enrich our understanding of the past and illuminate our path forward. Until the shadows beckon us once more, remember that the pursuit of truth is a journey that transcends time, and the mysteries of history are awaiting for us to uncover their secrets.